Welcome to Hunting Pixie Dust, your guide to hunting down the perfect souvenirs and magical moments on your next Disney vacation. My name is Heidi, and today we will look at one of the best souvenir stores at the Disneyland Resort, the World of Disney. The World of Disney is the largest Disney store outside the parks and might even be the largest in the entire resort at approximately 40,000 square feet. I can't think of a larger store. If you know a store at the Disneyland Resort larger than the World of Disney, let us know in the comments below. The World of Disney opened in Disneyland in 2001 and was the second version of the World of Disney to open. The first opened in Walt Disney World in 1996. There are also World of Disney stores in Disneyland Paris and Shanghai Disney Resort. This store has almost any souvenir you might want. One of the great things about this store is that it is outside the parks. This means that it is open an hour after Disneyland closes, so you can wait until the end of the night to pick up some souvenirs. That way you don't have to carry them around through the park. Now of course, as we've noticed before in some of our other videos, you can also talk to cast members if you do decide to buy souvenirs in the park. But this gives you another option, and most of the souvenirs available in the park are also available at the World of Disney. I also really enjoy the decorations in this store. The Winnie the Pooh mural behind one of the registers is amazing, and of course, the Tigger and Piglet umbrella bike is awesome. As of May 2018, the World of Disney store is under renovation. I can't wait to see how this changes the decor. Since Disney is brilliant at creating atmosphere, I'm sure it will be great. There are three major checkout stands in this store, which lets you know how large of a store it is. And each checkout stand has three to four cast members. You might also check out some of the special items that they keep behind the check stand. Many times there are special deals that if you spend so much money on your purchases, you can get this item for whatever cost they have decided to sell it for. Usually it's maybe a little cheaper than what you might expect normally. We bought a Disney blanket this way that we love, that we always keep on our sofa. Um, we've had other um, items that we've been tempted into buying because of this. There are tons of different souvenirs available at the World of Disney. Uh, there are hats, clothes, shirts. Um, there's matching t-shirts like the Han and Leia one where it's her says, I love you and his says, I know. There's just tons of stuff just like that. There's a Mickey Mouse and Minnie matching shirts, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, they also have a, speaking of Star Wars, they also have a good selection of Star Wars t-shirts. There is also a large selection of plushes you can find here. You can find the Winnie the Pooh, the Seven Dwarves, Lilo and Stitch. There's baby plushes. There's toys for children like the animation studio, animator studio toys. There's just a lot of stuff. You, it can be very overwhelming in this store, the amount of stuff that you run into here. But it's also a lot of fun. Next to the Emporium, the World of Disney has the largest selection of plushes. There are food plushes that are crazy. There's a Mickey ice cream cone. There's cupcakes and pretzels. I probably want to get the pretzel one. They are strange, but for some reason I like them. I love the Disney character pillows. They look like something I'd love to put into my bed so I could just cuddle up next to them. They're soft and just very cute. Also, the pillows would be great for a car ride because oftentimes they'll roll up to make them a little smaller or to make them a little firmer for those of us who like a firm pillow. They have plush zoom zooms there for those of us who have a zoom zoom weakness. And last time I was there, they had these little, they were like zoom zooms, very similar at least, but they each had a scent. Many of them uh, smelled like a pineapple, which I thought was interesting. They had some Beauty and the Beast ones that smelled like rose. Yeah, the Lilo and Stitch ones smelled like pineapple. And the Beauty and the Beast ones smelled like rose. And the, the Snow White dwarves that they had smelled like apples. And those were great. So I don't know how long the scent lasts, but it was a very sweet, nice scent when I smelled it in the store. Just as I mentioned before, 
The store has a large selection of different toys. There's Star Wars toys, Prince's play sets, there's castles, there's models that are made out of metal that you can put together um, for a fun activity and toy uh, that can give you a lot of memories. And there's things for all budgets here. Very inexpensive items. And of course, you know, Disney never lacks in the expensive category. Another standard souvenir that is nice to bring home from the park to help uh, bring back memories of is, is of course picture frames and photo albums. So that way you can put your pictures that you take in the park into wonderful themed picture frames. Me and Mark have a few of these around our house and we love them. Uh, they weather well and they bring back a lot of memories. There are tons of hats here, just tons. If you're having trouble finding a hat, there's a good chance you're gonna be able to find it here. I've gotten lost in the hat section in this store looking around and it's just a sea of hat, especially ear hats. And it's just amazing. There are also sun hats and baseball hats and there is, there is literally a wall of mouse ear hats in this area. So if you're looking for anything specific, this is always a good place to check. Many of the items at this store are sold in other stores throughout the park, but this is the only location I know that they have such an intense, um, concentrated collection of the different mouse ears available. They also have the blank ears available that you can buy special bows for. I know my favorite, I've mentioned this in another video, but my favorite are the up ears. There's also Prince's ear, you know, that you basically buy the bow to go with the hat, the ears, and then you hook them on. And so and then you can trade them out depending on your mood or what you're wearing or who you're feeling like that day. Or, um, see, I would always feel like wearing the up ones or the Haunted Mansion ones. Those so far have been my favorite. I also like the Dumble ones, which I mentioned earlier. And a lot of them are a lot of fun with odd original ways to bring out the different characters. For example, uh, the Jasmine Ears has the rug in it. What other little details do I like? Dumbo Ears has a feather, of course. The Up Ears have little balloon shapes that are, they're actually just little round balls, but they are very indicative of the balloons that you see in the Up movie. They also have a large collection of purses and handbags, fashion backpacks and shoulder bags and totes that you can buy here. They have everything from the seatbelt purse bags to character bags and bags with designs from Jared Maruyama, who is one of my favorite Disney artists. Uh, you'll see a lot of his work with the little button eyes and they're very whimsical and sweet and cute. So I was really excited to see some of his designs on some of the purses and bags. My other favorite are the Dooney and Burke bags. I like the ones that have the characters on them. They're a lot of fun. And one day I'll even save up enough money to be able to afford one. But um, that is one of my bucket item lists and it's something I'm looking forward to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you like to uh, see more of our channel, you can hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to have notifications of when we put up a new video, please click on the bell next to the subscribe button. Also, if you have any comments or have questions, we would be happy to hear from you in the com comment section below. And if you have any suggestions on what videos you would like to see in the future, we're planning another Disney trip soon and we'd love to have your input. That's it for today. Have fun hunting for your pixie dust.